Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching episode 8 of book 3 of Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm excited because the last three episodes have been pretty good. I mean, episode six was next level. Banger. And then episode seven was actually a nice surprise. There was meaning for you. Yeah, a lot of meaning. The energy was great. There were a lot of funny moments, a lot of emotional moments, and just a lot of lessons for Aang and crew. Yeah, some good character development as well between mm. Katara and Toph and just some growth there, which was fun to see. But now I feel like we're heading towards somewhere. You know, they they fought the mercenary towards the end. We identified his Combustion weakness. Combustion Man. Combustion Man, yeah, that's his name as of uh, Sokka's as of Sokka's second naming attempt. Yes. What was the first one? S something very long. Fire, bang, bang, boom, boom. Yeah, some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> so he's quite strong, but not undefeatable. We saw Toph accidentally discovered his weakness, but they didn't actually see it. Mm. We saw it. Where once his third eye got hit with a rock. It seemed to just ruin his precision and his control of his ability. So he would just start blowing himself up. It almost looked like he was surprised by that too. Maybe no one's ever really hit him you know, there. Yeah. Yeah. Because to be fair, not many people are as skilled as Toph. So probably wouldn't have fought many yeah. people that could handle. And the fact that he's still here means he's always been able to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So pretty interesting. I'm thinking over the next couple of episodes, I'm assuming we're going to wrap up his little arc. Eventually, they're going to beat him. I'm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe be like an upper <laughs> where you think it's going to be short and it keeps going. But he's been around for a few episodes now. So I'm expecting Aang's going to either have to face him properly and take him down soon or something epic like that. We didn't see any Zuko on Ira last episode. Yes. I'm hoping we do see them this episode. Whenever we don't see them, I miss them. I'm like, oh, I'm never going to see them again. Yeah. Especially because, look, one of the most interesting storylines for me and I'd say probably for you two has been the Zuko Ira relationship and just their yeah. character development. It's been really intriguing. Especially, especially yeah. since Iro. Is that the one? Yeah. Started getting jacked? Yes. Yeah. That, that and also episode six, just finding out about Sozin and Roku and their relationship and what that means for Zuko. How it's interconnected. And the yeah. fact that Iroh knew. Like, Iroh is a man wise yeah. beyond all means. He's always known this. And yet he Dragon has the West. waited for the right time to yeah. reveal certain information, which is Love awesome. Him. A big thanks to all of our supporters over on Patreon. We do post several episodes ahead, as well as the uncut reactions over on our Patreon. So if you want to check that out while supporting the channel, the link is in our description. If you're watching this on YouTube and you enjoyed today's reaction, leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode. Okay, let's get into it. Sounds like one of those um, eerie, that, yeah, and like those Something dolls that you can wind up down the hall in the dark. <laughs> Sokka with the scary stories, oh my god. It came into the torch. Love it. And they knew the blade of wing fun was haunted! <laughs> Holy shit, he really acted that one out. <laughs> I think I liked the man with the sword for a hand better. Water tribe slumber parties must stink. <laughs> oh. Is this one of those a friend of my cousin knew some guy that this happened to stories? No, it happened to mom. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> when mom was a girl, a snowstorm buried the whole village for weeks. A month later, mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. I mean, pretty creepy. When she was alone, she heard a voice. It's so cold and I can't get warm. Mom turned and saw Nini standing by the fire. She was blue, like she was frozen. White Walker. When everyone came back, my thoughts Nini exactly. Was gone. Where'd she go? <laughs> oh, suck. Nini's house stands empty to this day, but sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney, like little Nini is still trying to get warm. Damn, they're really into it. I don't know. I mean, that was pretty good storytelling. <gasps> Wait, guys, did you hear that? I hear people under the mountain. <laughs> Katara scared herself. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I hear something. You're probably just jumpy from the ghost stories. Hello, children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sorry to frighten you. 
My name is Hama. Imagine if she said Nene. Oh, no, that's what I was waiting for. I have an inn nearby. Why don't you come back there for some spiced tea and warm bed? Yes, please. And somehow this inn's gonna be haunted or some shit. I don't know. You don't start with haunted stories for no reason. I know. People have been disappearing in those woods you were camping in. Oh my god. When the moon turns full, people walk in and they don't come out. I mean, Damn. she said it ever so lightly. I like, know. far out. Pretty intense. Why don't I show you to your rooms and you can get a good night's rest? Damn. Nice rooms, big bed for one. Must be nice for them from the floor. I know, Momo. This place is creepy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I love soccer, man. Oh, I love how he's sleeping. <laughs> That's how I sleep sometimes. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Time to go shopping. Oh, soccer's favorite. The hell? Why does she care about him going shopping? You would have me use my feminine charms to take advantage of that poor man? I think you and I are going to get along <laughs> swimmingly. <laughs> oh. oh, right. Tomorrow's the full moon. Exactly. People disappearing in the woods? Weird stuff during full moons? This just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. Oh, maybe it is. We'll find out what these people did to the environment to make the spirits mad. And then you can sew up this little mystery lickety split avatar style. Avatar style. I love it. I love it. Aang just claims it. This is a mysterious little town you have here. <laughs> mysterious town for mysterious children. I wonder if she's the spirit. Yeah, she, she seems, seems a bit creepy. Sus, yeah. A few screws missing in that one. And she well, happens to be out in the woods. a little strange. Like she knows something. Or she's hiding something. Sucker's on her. She's a nice woman who took us in and gave us a place to stay. She kind of reminds me of Grand Grand. That's what I thought initially. Maybe because she found four strange kids camping in the woods at night? Isn't that a little mysterious? I'm going to take a look around. Sokka's instincts are really Detective wrong. Detective Sokka on the job. She could be home any minute. I mean, he's not doing a very good job of searching. Mm, come on! Ah. Ah. Okay, oh my god. Puppet master. We'll see. It's empty except for a little chest. That's suspicious. And the mystery grows. Saka, what are you doing? You're breaking into a private room. I have to see what's in there. Oh no. Maybe there's a key here somewhere. Oh, hand it over. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. This is crazy. I'm leaving. Suit yourself. Do it tough. I mean, someone should be on lookout. <laughs> Katara runs back in. Not a great team. <laughs> Their faces. <gasps> An old comb? What the hell? It's the last thing I own from growing up in the Southern Water Tribe. No way. Maybe she's Nini. What the hell? But why didn't you tell us? I wanted to surprise you. I bought all this food today so I could fix you a big water tribe dinner. Oh, Sokka. Ocean kumquats are a lot like sea prunes if you stew them long enough. <laughs> I felt a bond with you right away. And I knew you were keeping a secret, so I guess we're both right. <laughs> I'm sorry we were sneaking around. Apology accepted. Yeah, but she still seems off. I don't know. Yeah, that's what it might. That's what I was thinking. Thank you for that one. Apology. <laughs> Aang, you're not cabbage, man. Come on. You can't be a warrior eating cabbage. Ew. Even Upper didn't want it. I know. So what's his shit? Where's the steak? Who wants five flavor soup? Five flavor soup? Oh, she can waterbend. You're a waterbender. I've never met another waterbender from our tribe. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. So how did you end up out here? I was stolen from my home. Oh shit, it was gets interesting. Years ago when the raid started. Is that their mother? 
probably is. Holy shit. So they used to have heaps of water benders, but they all got wiped out. They came again and again, each time rounding up more of our water benders and taking them captive. We did our best to hold them off, but our numbers dwindled as the raids continued. Damn, man, that's tragic. It's nice to get this history, though. Wow. Finally, I too was captured. The last one, imagine that. It's related with Katara now. The last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe. That's probably Katara's mom crying back at her. It looks like her. How did How? you get away? And why did you stay in the Fire Nation? I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about anymore. So there's a bit of a mystery there. Maybe there's a connection? I can't tell you what it means to meet you. It's an honor. You're a hero. I never thought I'd meet another Southern Waterbender. I'd like to teach you what I know. Oh, that'll be awesome. That'd be great. Wow. To learn about my heritage, it would mean everything to me. Still can't trust that face though. <laughs> when we were stranded in the desert, I felt like there was almost nothing I could do. That's why you have to learn to control water wherever it exists. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Like the condensation and stuff. But did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? Love it. That is awesome. Wow. You've got to keep an open mind, Katara. There's water in places you never think about. That's oh, pretty cool. This lady's a badass. Nicest natural thought? sitting in the Fire Nation. Again, I'm jealous by the scenery. Maybe so beautiful. Maybe the moon spirit just turned mean. The moon spirit is a gentle, loving lady. She rules the sky with compassion. <laughs> you, eh? Oh, yeah, 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 I got that. <laughs> I met a waterbender who lived in a swamp and could control the vines by bending the water inside. You can take it even further. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, she's fully taken, like, the plant's life. They're just flowers. When you're a waterbender in a strange land, you do what you must to survive. Yeah, and I feel like she's the one taking the children. Payback. It can only be done during the full moon. Okay, here we go. Too much of a coincidence. I thought people have been disappearing around here during the full moon. Two master waterbenders beneath a full moon? I don't think we have anything to worry about. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So how has she gone too far? She's done something that's gone too far. Yeah. Or maybe she's upset the spirit or she is the spirit. Like, Old I have no day. idea. Huh? <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? Got a full moon rising. And why does everyone call me that? I'm not that old. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Did you get a good look at the spirit that took you? Didn't see no spirit. Just felt something come over me, like I was possessed. Forced oh. me to start walking toward the mountain. Is she controlling the water in the human body? Yeah. The sun started to rise, and I got control of myself again. Okay. I just high-tailed it away from that mountain as quick as I could. Because they're their strongest during a full moon. I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. Right. Wow. It's like the vine thing from the swamp, but she said, I take it to the next level. Yeah. She meant literally. Hence oh the puppet God. master. She has human puppets. Yeah. Oh, dude, this lady creeped it out. For generations, it has blessed waterbenders with its glow, allowing us to do incredible oh things. Oh my god. I've never felt more alive. Oh, the old coot's cooked it. She's cooked it. I can't see anything down there. That's why you have me. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. She can see where no one can. I know. I love it. She's full trapped them in there. Wow. 
the way they trapped her. I didn't know that spirits made prisons like this. Oh, wow, I don't. dude. She seems like a normal old woman, but she controls people like some dark puppet master. Mm. Hama. That's crazy, man. Sounds familiar. They're all just stuck in like a dungeon. That's creepy as. I wonder how long they've all been in there for. Damn. It's dark. What I'm about to show you. I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation prison, before giving us any water, they would bind our hands and feet so we couldn't bend. That's pretty shit. Yeah, it's rough for sure. So I get why she's feeling this way. The rats mm. were nothing more than skins filled with liquid, and I passed years developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Oh my god. I mean, I get it. You I know. agree, I get it 100%. Blood bending. The water in another body. I mean, it's liquid. Your own will oh my theirs. god. Once I had mastered the rats, I was ready for the men. Oh my god. <laughs> and during the next full moon, I walked free for the first time in decades. Decades. I mean, it's very resourceful, I'll give her credit. You can control anything, or anyone. But to reach inside someone and control them? It's pretty creepy. And it's your duty to use the gifts you've been given to win this war. Katara, they tried to wipe us out, our entire culture. Your mother! I do get her pain. Yeah, wow. It's you. You're the one who's making people disappear during the full moons. She figured it out. Smart cookie. Yeah. They deserve the same. Holy oh, shit. Carry on my work. That She's is creepy. <laughs> and I won't allow you to keep terrorizing this town. <laughs> oh, shit. You should have learned the technique before you turned the yeah, no. <laughs> I know, not the badass. I control every muscle, every vein in your body. Don't worry, I ain't going suck her on their way. With Toph. Oh my Here god. Here we go, the puppet master. Stop! Please! <laughs> What's wrong with her? Oh, oh shit. You're not the only one who draws power from the moon. Oh, yes, Katara! Your Holy shit! On me. I love it! Katara's become a weapon, dude! Oh, oh she shit. slapped that water, man. That's sick. Epic. Oh. Wow. Oh, 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 she just flipped her like a piece of shit. <laughs> just embarrassed her. Give up. You're outnumbered. No. You've outnumbered yourself. Oh, I was going to say, they just give her puppet. Damn. Oh, Katara's too skilled, dude. Oh, my oh. God. That's sick. Come on, Aang. Surely you can break it, dude. Oh no. I'm sorry, Aang. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> don't hurt your friends, Katara. And don't let them hurt each other. Oh my god. No! <gasps> I didn't think she would do that. Oh. <gasps> She, she blood building. Do it. Oh my god, Katara, next level. Next. Wow. Next fucking level. Shit. Congratulations, mm. Katara. She told her. You're a bloodbender. <laughs> oh my god, Damn. creepy laugh, creepy laugh. Kind of tragic that she ends up in a cage again, but she did it to herself. Dark episode, man. Holy crap. 
Look, to be fair, how can you not go crazy after being locked up for decades? I mean, she lost everyone in the South Pole yeah. and she was the last one standing. That alone can make you go crazy. Yeah, can't judge Hama too hard. Like, yeah. She got screwed over big time. But yeah, wow. It's just like a tragic story, the way yeah. that all panned out. So she didn't end up being Katara's mother's friend, it doesn't seem. Yeah, but... I mean, Katara learnt a new skill. She can choose when she uses it. She can choose when she doesn't. That's a but good resource, yeah. Yeah, it is a good resource, especially when you're going up against the Fire Nation, you know? Bloodbending. But the particularly even the more useful one is she can now draw, like, condensation mm. from trees and plants and She's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so that's awesome. Wow. As, as if she wasn't already skilled enough. I'm always amazed at Katara's growth. Like, even this episode, damn. I love her. When she has epic moments, she really like psychs you out, like builds you I up. I want to be Katara. That's where I want to be when I grow up. And I'll be Zuko. <laughs> hey, remember my theory? Zuko and Katara end up together. <laughs> it happened here first, guys. <laughs> and then I might be someone else. Wow. But good episode. Bloodbending sounds cool. It does sound awesome. Creepy, if, but cool. If this show was like a little bit rated like M or MA, oh, then yeah. bloodbending would so suit. Oh, yeah. Reminds sure. me of something out of uh, an anime, Tokyo Ghoul. You wouldn't know it, but I haven't seen it, but it just reminds me of that concept. Another good episode. Really enjoyable. Yeah. Again, we were expecting some lighthearted episodes coming after episode six because it was so intense. Yeah. But Avatar's picking that up. Each one's been meaningful. Even this one, which seemed to be okay, you know, scary stories, you're in a random land, and yet Katara learns about her heritage. We learn mm. more about the Water Nation struggle. We learned how they broke people, you know, Hama being an example of somebody that was spiritually and mentally broken by the by the water tribe. I believe she was, a, you know, probably a very gentle and caring person. But unfortunately, when you have multiple friends captured, never to see again, and then you yourself suffer as well, treated yeah. like an animal in a cage. I mean, wouldn't you want revenge? I get it. I get, like, the thing is, she's doing to them what they did to her. And... I mean, justified in a way, but not necessarily right. 100%, yeah. Yeah. Agreed. I feel like Katara has been the one who's been getting a lot of character development, even like... Especially in book three, yeah. Yeah. Because we had the painted lady, now this. Mm -hmm. She had a few epic moments. Even last episode, she had a lot of character development with Toph as well. So, True. I don't know. Has been the Katara train for a while. We got yeah. a bit of, bit of uh, soccer in that sword episode yeah interesting well i guess it's all heading one direction isn't it i think yeah. they're probably going to spend half of the book character kind of development because then i imagine it's really going to be mm. crunch time and because ang still doesn't know fire bending oh yet. yeah shit that's true hmm. we're almost halfway through the book now and he sort of no fire bending so yeah he's gonna have to learn that and ideally master it yeah okay and that's it and that's gonna be the hardest to master because it's his natural opposite Yes. Oh, no way. No, it's not. Earth was. Yeah. So fire should be okay. Might be a bit easier, but I'm sure there's lots to learn. Who knows if Ara is going to be the master that he learns from. I still think it'll be Zuko. Maybe yeah. both. Maybe both. But we haven't seen them for two episodes, man. So we better yeah. see them next episode. We better see them next episode. I've um, missed them. Yeah, I really want to see them. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys next reaction. See you guys.